on my heart if you will allow me just maybe five ten minutes of your time that I would like to share I know you guys can't see me over there I'll try to move up some you know as I was putting this together I got all my crying out before I cried as I created the slideshow and typed up all the information and the Lord began to speak to me about something that I feel that we need to hear today. It's a tragedy what happened. And God began to speak to me that we need a healing in our world. There is a war going on, not between countries, but there is a war between good and evil. We live in a spiritual world. Amen? There are... There's a constant battle between good and evil. And the more I thought about that, I kept thinking, you know, it's not the wars between our countries that cause this kind of a tragedy. But it's our own personal wars. What could cause anyone to do such a horrible thing? What could cause that? And I began to think about evil. 
and the things that lead to evil, which are bitterness and anger. And I thought, you know what? If we're not careful, I'm not saying anybody here is going to commit such a crime. But if we're not careful, instead of showing others the peace, which is why Jesus came, instead of showing peace to this world, we're going to show the opposite. He came to this world to give us peace. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. Some of you are at war with family members. Maybe somebody in your family has hurt you. Maybe there's been a long argument. Maybe somebody's rejected you. It is not worth carrying around unforgiveness. Some of you are at war with a friend. Somebody who stabbed you in the back. Some of you are at war with parents. Some of you are at war with your brothers and sisters in Christ. This right here is why we can't let little petty things come into our churches and tear us apart as a body of Christ. The enemy loves that. He loves it when people in the church get mad at one another over little things because we're supposed to be the ones bringing peace into this world. Some of you are at war with yourselves. You have battled within yourself. You have not been able to forgive yourself, let alone anybody else. Maybe you've got a history. Maybe you've got some skeletons in your closets. Maybe you have some regrets, don't we all? I guarantee you there's not a person sitting here right now who doesn't have some regrets in their past. Be careful not to stay at war with yourself. You need to allow God to forgive you and you need to forgive yourself. Some of you are at war with God. When something like this happens, and I was thinking, you know, this isn't just the only thing. If you think about the last year, the last couple of years, we had the shooting at the mall or the movie theater not too long ago. And then this. The enemy is trying hard to destroy the peace in our world. We need to be the ones to be the peacemakers. We need to be the ones to show this world that Jesus came. Jesus was born to bring this world peace. Whatever your war may be, whether it's within yourself, whether it's a war with God, maybe you're angry because something similar to this has happened in your life. Anger is a, a normal emotion when we lose someone. But we've got to be real careful. And you know, I was noticing when I first put that slideshow together, I have a confession to make. I started with 27 victims. And the Holy Spirit began to speak to me. There's one more that you have forgotten. And that was the shooter. And I thought, you know, God, I don't know how people are going to feel about that. And I noticed when we showed the slides, there was a lot of people who couldn't even look. There was a lot of expressions on our faces of anger. And believe me, we have a right to be angry. Those parents have a right to be angry. That was a horrible crime. But we have to be very careful that we don't let things like this turn into anger and bitterness and the darkness drowned out our love and our peace that we are supposed to be shining to this world. Amen. What he did was horrible. Like I said, I can't even imagine. And if I was the parent of one of those children, I'll be honest, I am sure I would be extremely angry. But he was a victim. He was a creation of God that the enemy won the battle over. At one time, he was a kindergarten student. At one time, there was a plan for his life, but the devil <coughs> won the battle over his mind, and he too was a victim. 
Tina will find something to play. This is not our normal. We still have a couple of songs left before we go. But we don't have to go in any certain order. We have to go in God's order. We've got a program, and as I pray back there, it doesn't have to be our program. It's, it's what He wants. I felt like the Lord wanted us to take time during this holiday season to check ourselves, to check our hearts. Because if you've got some bitterness, if you've got some anger, if you've got any kind of resentment, be careful with that. Because the enemy will destroy your own life and the lives of people around you if you harden your heart and don't learn to forgive. So I feel like there's some people in this sanctuary here today who need to give yourself a gift this Christmas. The gift of forgiveness. 